I know you've noticed COVID-19 cases in the U.S. have stayed pretty steady, even around the world. I know you and Daddy are worried about getting your vaccine, and the best advice is to contact your health care provider. But I'm going to tell you today what the sign says to give you some information to bring to your healthcare provider so you can be updated on what's going on. Hi, I'm Dr. Tanya and I am a OBGYN nurse. And here on Mother Baby, I tell you everything you need to know to have a healthy pregnancy and a healthy and happy baby. Early data shows that COVID vaccine is very effective for teens. And new research has shown that Pfizer and Moderna vaccines are safe for pregnant women. This was a major study that was just recently released. They are referring to this study that was published in a prestigious journal, the New England Journal of Medicine. Preliminary findings, which are just the early findings from this study. And many pregnant persons in the United States are receiving the MRA vaccines. Before this study was done, information was limited on the safety during pregnancy. Although the, the CDC had recommended that you talk with your doctor in order to make an individual determination. So they did this study in December 2020 through February uh, 2021. And actually the information came from the VSAFE after vaccine health checker, which is on the web. It's a surveillance system that you can access at any time and get this information or updated information. Also, the VARIS system was used to get this information. So they took all this data from the VARIS system and this um, VSAFE system. In total, it was over 35,000 patients between the ages of 16 and 54. Between 16 and 54. 54? 54 years old. Wow. People are still having babies at 54. And what they found was that um, the most frequent side effect among people who are pregnant were um, pain at the injection site compared to people who aren't pregnant. What you really want to know is, is this going to be safe for you and baby? And also, it would be interesting to know how many African Americans were included in this study. And as you can see, the majority of the patients were white and it was only a small percentage of blacks in this study, almost 3%. So basically, more research needs to be done to know if these results apply to blacks as well as whites. But we do know they apply to whites and a small percentage of black, about 3%. So they listed all the uh, side effects that were seen in the first and second dose of the Pfizer and the Moderna vaccine. And what they generally saw, I mean, it was just all the same side effects that normally uh, have been reported. But as you can see, the most common side effect was the pain at the injection site. And the Moderna had more pain at the injection site, more fatigue, more headaches, more uh, malaise, more chills, and more fever, feverish than the Pfizer vaccine. The patients taking the Moderna vaccine also had more nausea, more joint pain, more injection site swelling, more diarrhea, more injection site itching than the Pfizer vaccine and more rad. But overall, the Pfizer and the Moderna vaccine was pretty safe for pregnant women. And there was less than 2% of the women had spontaneous abortion. Of course, more long-term follow-up studies need to be done in order to determine uh, the actual safety and more research will be done. But as of now, uh, May 5th, 2021, the Pfizer and the Moderna vaccine appear to be relatively safe for pregnant women. Now, this is not medical advice. Get with your doctor, talk about these results, and see what's best for you. That's all I have for you today. Subscribe to Mother Baby Daddy for more episodes like this one where you and daddy will learn everything you need to know to have a healthy pregnancy and a healthy and happy baby. Subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for listening.